Good morning. Good morning. Our media is coming. It's okay. Just please come in and sit down. Thank you. Good morning. Yeah, morning. Please sit. Okay. Good morning. Once again. So, to, uh, we continue with unemployment. In the last class, we talked about different kinds of unemployment we have. We talked about cyclical, we talked about frictional, which is the same as temporal. We talked about structural, we talked about, uh, what does, we talked about frictional, structural, seasonal. Season. So these are different kinds of unemployment we talked about. But today, we want to use a graph analysis to explain how unemployment occurs within the economy. So we're going to start with the figure one. For figure one, we have a PPF, that's a production, production possibility frontier, which is similar as a production possibility curve. And what is even a production possibility curve? It's a graph that shows the maximum of two goods or two services that can be provided within an economy if all resources are fully utilized. That is what the PPF represents. So when you look at it, we have goods, we have services. That means the combination of these two goods, if all resources are fully utilized, brings about our PPF. So, yes, what do you mean by fully utilized? If all resources are employed, maximize the benefits. You use all resources. It means you're gonna go get more. Okay, so when you are able to use all resources, it means you have reached your potentials. So, this point here means at any point at A, means that all resources are fully utilized. That's employed resources. You are, we, we are within your potentials here. Employed. But below it, at point B it means there are unused resources, and that is what unemployment is about. Get the point, please. At any point here, you have reached your potentials. You cannot go further because there are no resources to go further. But be within it, behind it, or below it, it means there's unemployment. And un unemployment at this point means there is what? Cyclical unemployment, which is as a result of a fall in aggregate demand. So you get to know further. Look at what I wrote. PPF at point A implies that, in the, uh, that the economy is operating at a point, any point with, within the graph at its productive potential. So if you are operating at point A, it means you have reached your potential. Point B, it implies that there is unused resources. This is below. That means you are still inward. Inward in the PPF or inward in the PPC. It means there are unemployed resources, either in terms of labor, or human or resources itself. So this point will bring about cyclical unemployment, un unemployment. And what is cyclical unemployment? Cyclical unemployment occurs when the aggregate demand in the economy is falling, which could be as a result of recession. So when there's recession within the economy, resources are not fully utilized. The supply of labor will fall, demand for labor will fall. And the econ economy will go in decline. As a result, they are unused resources at this point. So this means about unemployment, which we call cyclical. So when we talk about cyclical unemployment, it involves temporary, it involves structural, it involves seasonal. Because it is, it's called a process cyclical. It means to the whole. So it affects you, it affects me, it affects the whole population. It affects the whole economy. So that is an example of a cyclical unemployment. We are using graph analysis to explain how we got cyclical, how we got seasonal, how we got structural. So we can use the PPF to explain cyclical. We can use the long run aggregate supply curve. We can use the long run aggregate demand curve to explain seasonal, or seasonal structural too. So now, cyclical unemployment, which is as a result of a fall in aggregate demand, is through the PPF. So that's about figure one. Is figure one clear? Yes. Figure one is about unused resources at point B. And at point B, it means resources are unemployed. And we are talking about unemployment here. So cycle unemployment is as a result of unused resources, which might be because of recession. I think I recession anyway, but it's as a result of recession. So whenever we talk about cycle unemployment, what you have to put in your mind is that, oh, there is recession within the economy. I think it's correct. Yes. So go to figure two. For figure two, I wrote. It shows that the economy is operating at equilibrium in the short term. This is our equilibrium at OY1. This is the equilibrium. But equilibrium here is within the short term. The short term I get supply. Please look at the ball. This is where we are operating. We are at equilibrium at OY1. Being at equilibrium at OY1 means that we are not, it doesn't represent our production our productive potential. We are not reaching the potential yet. So what can we do? 
we go to know we get to know what we do in Figotomy. But here I wrote, it shows that the economy is operating at equilibrium in the short run at OY1, which ought to represent the poten productive potential of the economy, which can reach its highest at OY2. At OY2, we can reach the highest. Because at OY2, it means our long-run aggregate supply curve, or our, our long-run aggregate supply curve is more than the short-run aggregate supply curve at OY2. So we can reach here, but we are not here yet. We are not there yet. We are at this. This is where we are. We are behind. So what can we do to eliminate the short-run aggregate supply shortage? We can, we can eliminate it through increasing aggregate demand. You know, it, was, it came because there's aggregate demand falling, recession. So now that we want to eliminate this, it's a problem that has to be eliminated. To eliminate it, what do we do? We get slow if we got to. So look at what I wrote here. In the long run, this way simply means there is recession. So it's just to eliminate cyclic unemployment in the short run. Explanation if you go three. So if we are operating at this, at this point of equilibrium, it means resources are not fully utilized, same as this. 